On a previous video, we talked about the correct way to profile a concrete so that you don't get water come in. But let's say they did it wrong, it's profiled wrong, and you got water coming in. What are some of the things that we can do to solve this problem? One of the things, it's about a 50-50 chance that it might or might not work because water's a tough thing to stop from coming in, is this right here. It's a rubber threshold. Essentially, it's a dam that we will install on the bottom of your door. It's made of a material that is as dense as a tire. So if you're going to use this room to drive cars in, the two elements are compatible with each other and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't warp it up. And before they had this, we would have to put some kind of aluminum threshold. The problem with the aluminum thresholds is when the car runs in, the aluminum ends up smiling at you, bowling up on each corner. This product has proven to be a very durable, functioning product. Now I'm going to show you where to put it on the floor, okay? Now on this concrete, it's profiled absolutely perfect, but I'm going to show you that by putting this ruler across here. You can see the, the slope. Let's pretend that they did it wrong and this concrete goes straight out or even up to this point where I can stick my finger under there. The only solution, well there's a couple of different solutions. One, to, to try to grind the concrete back, which is almost crazy. Uh, this product here, this threshold, you can put it down here and what it does, right here, right where the door sits, and it does create, again, it would be, this would be flat. It does make a levy and uh, it's about a 50-50 chance. I, I can't give it a 100% chance because water is a hard thing to stop, but it's a lot cheaper than having the concrete really profiled or having the concrete cut out and, and drop down. So um, give it a shot. It's not that expensive to try. And if it doesn't work, then you can address other issues.